Steve with Wood Guys, one of my clients, wants to sell their home, make it a little nicer when they buy it. Right. Why should they choose you? Wood, wood Guys, sorry. Uh, we are a wood floor company that sells high-end wood flooring at contractor pricing. Now our store is opening up first week of February, 51st and Garnett. And if you come into our store, you'll get a wide selection of hardwood flooring and we compete against the big box stores, discount stores, at better pricing, better quality, contractor pricing to everybody. Now you say there are three right. three real wood guys, and that's how you got right. kind of got the name. Uh, show us right. what's happening with, with flooring, wood flooring. There's okay. a lot of confusion between pre-finished and You're right. installed right there on the spot. There is. A lot of people will come up and they'll say, are these floors real? And we'll just say, you tell me. Because wood flooring, especially engineered market, when people think of a wood floor, they a lot of times think solid hardwood floor. And that's okay because that's what traditionally has been used. But over the years, pre-finished has been coming into the market to where it's 70% of the market now. And so when you get a pre-finished wood floor, you still have the same wear layer thickness of real hardwood floor, but you have different applications. So like with a real wood floor, it can only be nailed in. And when everyone has a concrete slab in Tulsa, you can't nail that into a concrete slab. So you have to build up a plywood subfloor, nail that floor in, you end up with an inch and a half. Yeah, and your doors don't close anymore. You have to cut every door. Your outside metal doors have to be reworked, new that thresholds. Is, that's a serious problem it that is. we find. If, it's, if you're not building a house new with that wood floor in mind, then you can't, in the past, you couldn't have wood floors. And it's not even do-it-yourself friendly. All of the product we sell, we want it to be do-it-yourself friendly. We think that everybody can install their own wood floor on our website. Wood but guys, you install it too? We don't actually install it. But really? We, okay. No. That's good to know. What Wood Guys is, we're three guys. My brother, David, and I, and Roger Coffin. We own wood floor companies in town that do all material and labor. But over the years, we have done so much work for people that have bought their own wood flooring at other places. We thought, why can't we get a good product, sell that at a great price to the public, and if someone needs help installing it, we can help them do that with our other companies. But we really want people to install the floors themselves. If you install the floor off the bat yourself, you save 2 to $3 a square foot. So you were talking about the same thickness on right. some of these floors. Uh, this does this. not look like a pre-finished wood look floor. Look at this. This is a solid wood all the way through. It's three-quarter inch thick. The top layer of it is the only wear surface of it. So let me hold up this engineered floor. So let's put this right here on the ground. And let's look at this engineered wood floor. Now you put the wear layer of this engineered floor up next to the wear layer of the solid wood floor and you'll see within a sixteenth of, sixteenth of an inch they're the same. So they're both permanent wood floors but like I say with a real wood floor it's hard to install yourself because you have to build it up with a plywood subfloor and a lot of people don't have the equipment to do that. But with an engineered floor like this you still get the same longevity, it's still a permanent floor. You can install it yourself really easily. You can glue it directly to the concrete. You can float it over a pad, or you can nail it down if you choose to. Steve, what is your contact information and uh, website? Woodguys.com. Telephone number? You know, it's so new. I don't know it yet. In, any, I tell you what, we'll take any number, okay. really, as long as they can get in All touch right. with you. The number to the Wood Guys store is 918-254-7343. Well... Your logo is going to make you successful because that's something that you won't you won't forget. Yeah, it's a cool logo. It's Good job. Good. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks Good for the visit. To you. Dot com. Put some of these on your list. Eighty three zero three East one hundred forty six Street in Bixby. Eighty eight nine. Eighty eight thousand nine hundred dollars for a patio home in Bixby. Two bedrooms, one and a half bath. It's a townhome, actually. Very small lot. Adjoins the others. I was pheasant hunting with a Bigsby fireman yesterday, by the way. A guy named Tanner Riley, the son of Greg Pittman, the, the, the pastor at Sea Ridge. So I was trying to tie something from Bigsby into the show. You, you know, know, I knew the moment, Stan, the reason you don't get to talk much is because I know the moment I take a breath. You don't if, I much, leave, if I leave an opening, 
<laughs> Someone else is going to get something in that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> so I am clever. I'll say Exactly. Okay, yeah. if, if you're new to the show, kind of like, um, you know, it, it became endearing to Tulsans. The guy that had the furniture store that um, he would always come, furniture factory outlet, and he would always come up with a yeah, different miss. Oh, pronunciation, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, Earl, 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 Earl. yes, yeah. Earl, Boston TV, so. who's no longer around, oh, but uh, wasn't that just one of you? All just always would look to see what it yeah, is. What was you going to do this time? Yeah, well, it's kind of becoming that. How <laughs> how <laughs> else are you going to fit in a promotion for Cedar Ridge Christian Church and um, another good one? Well, thank you, Daryl. I I would imagine that you spend uh, most of your days during the week. <laughs> coming up with some clever way to do that. And one of the things you have to know about me, if I hear a, a joke, I'm probably not going to laugh because it may not catch me off guard. It's like, okay, great, that was a good joke, you know, for, for the average man. Right. But I just have to be surprised by something. It really has to catch me off guard, and then I just think it's hilarious. Well, people need to know, too, you know, it's located on 101st Street between Garnett and 129th. Two convenient services at 9 and at 10.30. And you have satellite locations. Yes, we do have a satellite location at the corner of Hickory and Teal in Sepulpa, which you know, has service at 10.30. I'll, uh, let me squeeze in as long as we're advertising all this other stuff. The, the Ice House Fitness Center. One of my promotions. <laughs> Who owns the Ice House Fitness Center? <laughs> that happens to be one of my hobbies. There you go. My hobby businesses. Well, uh, I believe in responsible business ownership. And this is a very serious uh, conviction to me. But there, there are things that I can do, you can do, as business leaders in the community. What are you all laughing at? <laughs> I just know we're taking part of Stan's time right now. <laughs> <laughs> there are things that we can do as business leaders in the community. And that can be to